Hey, I'm Daniel Murray, the head coach of the Swim and Dive team here at Delta State. And what could you do with $10,000? Delta State University Athletics is sponsoring a one-of-a-kind fundraiser on Saturday, April 28th. This four lucky winners could take home $20,000 in prizes. The event will begin at 12.30 p.m. as sponsored golf balls will be dropped from a helicopter onto the green at Cleveland Country Club. The four closest balls to the pin will be the big winners. All proceeds from the event will benefit the athletic programs at Delta State University. For more information, log on to GoStatesman.com or call Ronnie Myers at 662-846-4730. We will see you on the green. Welcome into another edition of Go Statesman TV. Clayton Kaufman, glad to be with you tonight, Statesman fans on WHCQ. Great show for you tonight as we recap Statesman softball, a doubleheader sweep against West Florida. We're also going to sit down with head coach Jamie Chadwell. He's going to give us an update on spring football practice two weeks in. We're also going to take a look at junior pitcher Josh Branstetter, an outstanding season so far for the junior from Pensacola, Florida. But first, it's time to go around Statesman Take 5, Coach's Edition. I have thought about this one a lot. Okay, so you let me know when we're ready. I give some to my parents, some to my sister, and then take the rest of the beach. A lot of that money is going to go to charity, um, or third world countries, things like that. Um, I think I'm obligated to say I'd give some back to Delta State. Well, first of all, uh, as my fellow friend JT to wherever, wherever he wants to go. Wherever you want to go for his, uh, you know, bachelor party, and then from there we'll just have fun from there. I think I'll split it up. Go 50% savings. You know, 20% tithe. I should probably say more than that. 30%. Uh, you know, we'll, go, you know, some of that will go to family. I'd go on a nice long holiday. I'd keep doing my job as a soccer coach. Maybe build my own team. Um, fly to the moon, maybe? How do you make something idiot-proof? Um, <laughs> How do I make something idiot-proof? Don't let Jamie Chadwell have anything to do with it, first of all. Uh, or Coach Staggs? I don't know. I mean, are we still growing? I, can we, I don't like that. That's all right. Definitely don't let any Auburn graduates have anything to do with it because I'm an Alabama grad. Put, what's that, bubble, bubble wrap around it? Yeah. yeah, probably put that around it. Okay. Whatever it is. All right. Idiot proof, just uh, talk uh, to somebody that's an idiot. I guess so. I mean, what else? Idiot proof? You can't. You absolutely can't. Idiots are idiots. You can't do anything about it. Really, I mean, this year, I've, I don't know, I've never argued a call. The first time, I, I didn't really argue it, but I walked out there talking with the umpire, thinking Coach McKenzie was going to come behind me. I turned around, he's not there. So I was just like, I'm going to go back to my box. Right. We were doing a uh, rugby punting drill and uh, we had this our backup punter bless his heart he wasn't very good at Charleston Southern he rolls out punts the ball right into the back of one of our own, one of his own players the ball goes the wrong this is in practice now and I run down the field and I'm like what are you doing what what was that crap because I, I couldn't get the words out so the next three years every time somebody did something wrong it all the players would look at me and go Crap! Like that. A okay. couple of times when I've been on the sidelines, next to my old coach, Bill Elliott at West Florida, I was playing him and I was getting very infuriated. I've picked up a water bottle 
and I've thrown it into the ground and it's hit my assistant Mario into the face. And then after being really angry, I've had to say sorry and I've seemed like a bit of a wimp. One time, uh, probably a couple of years ago when I was coaching third base, I uh, was running down with the third baseman uh, for a squeeze play and uh, I slipped and fell down while running with the, with the runner and, uh, in front of uh, everybody and everybody just started laughing at me. If you're not matching, I got that one from the girls today. Uh, the other day, my, I was wearing blue with green. Apparently, that doesn't work, so I have to wear black with green. Uh, with green now, so I got, I got that one sometimes. Uh, probably uh, Luke Skywalker. You know, he's the main actor. He's the main guy, and he's the man. I'm not gonna lie to you. Of course, growing up in Nigeria, I didn't watch a lot of Star Wars growing up. I didn't know much about it. Um, so I have to say I don't know all the characters. But Luke, I guess, Luke right, Skywalker. Skywalker. I mean, yeah, you always want to be the main actor, right? right. I mean, you always, and got to get the girl. I mean. All right. As a Star Wars character, who would I be? I'd be Han Solo. Uh, he's definitely the, uh, uh, the love interest, and he's kind of the guy that the rules don't apply to Han. You know what I'm saying? He kind of makes his own rules. And... I mean, what, what uh, situation has Han been in that he couldn't get out of? Maybe R2-D2? Is that a... Yeah, that's okay. a character. He's got kind of a cool voice, isn't he? Yeah, he's a robot. Yeah, I've, yeah I like his voice. Okay. Chewbacca. What? I don't know, he doesn't say much. Just gets the job done. Bruce, you got any ideas? <laughs> Oh, great. That's a tough one. You know, you're talking to coaches right now. We're not the smartest bunch out there. I mean, if you, we, we're coaches for a reason, right? No questions, but demand an answer. I want to get this because I want to be like the smartest coach here. Me? <laughs> what do you want? Get my us. Get my skittles. Yo. A reporter. No, they ask questions. I don't know. Well, I would say a woman, but they ask a lot of questions. Uh, I'm not, I, I, I don't know. I want to say Siri, but that's not right. No, it's yeah, not. Sorry. Yeah. No. But you like lit up there like I've got the right answer. No. I don't know. Got to be honest, I don't know. All right. If, if you don't tell me the answer, think I'll it. think it through. Think Give me at least a day. Okay. Is it a telephone? It, it is. Or so I was close with Siri. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty close. Yeah, it's a telephone, obviously. Yeah.